retrospective motion correction of segmented diffusion weighted EPI. First, I would like to introduce the basic principle of prospective motion correction. Here we see our volunteer in the scanner. Now let's assume that the volunteer moves during the acquisition. We monitor the movements with our tracking system, a small camera which is placed above the patient in the scanner bore. Tracking information at 6 degrees of freedom is then sent back to the scanner where all gradients and RF pulses are adjusted in real time. This is equivalent to moving the imaging volume with the subject, so that there is no relative motion between them and the resulting images show no motion artifacts. Even with prospective motion correction, phase differences due to diffusion weighting gradients can lead to substantial ghosting artifacts in multi-shot DWI as shown in the upper row. The news algorithm makes it possible to determine the phase of each case space segment. The phases are then included to the color sensitivities. This leads to artifact-free images in the final reconstruction, which is shown in the lower row. The news approach allows for high-resolution DWI. However, due to the high resolution and the long examination times, the scan becomes extremely sensitive to subject motion. Even unintended movements in the millimeter range lead to blurring in the processed data. The upper row of the figure displays images of an uncorrected scan without intended motion. Therefore, we combined MUSE with prospective motion correction. This substantially improved image quality in high resolution DWI in the presence of subject motion. The results of the motion correction measurement are shown in the lower row.